Hello, so uh, I uh, I won locals the, today. Uh, I went undefeated. I uh, didn't lose. I played against two branded uh, heroes, um, an addict, Mr. Mathme, and something else. I can't remember. But I was playing super heavy samurai, and I just want to show off the deck because. It performed incredibly well and it was just really, really broken and cracked and everything else like that. Uh, we'll start with just the Super Heavy Samurai engine. I'm after realizing I could put all the other stuff on the top, which is whatever, right? Oh, but, uh, yeah, that's why I asked you. So we'll go one Stealthy. Uh, Stealthy is actually insane. Um, it's a really good extender. It's a free special summon. Uh, it lets you get to, uh, it gets, gets you to box or it gets you to Ballista, which gets you to box, which gets you to, um, uh, the, your pendulum summon having enough monsters essentially. What right? else does it do? I you can take spells from grave or traps from grave as well. So I can take. I took someone's tactics today to put them under just just under pressure, but it didn't really come up for anything else like that. It's mostly just a free special summon. Uh, it's useful for stealing spells and traps. You can steal someone's imperm, for example, or something if they've used one already, and then it gets banished at the end, whatever. So uh, soul guy booster is actually really handy as well. Obviously, it's the soul, so you can search it with Benkei. Um, it's a free special summon as long as you control it, it's super heavy, so you can basically equip it and then special it. And then that's kind of handy for playing around Droll and things like that with uh, Wakaoshi. Uh, Scales is your um, your special summon from deck, you usually set special this off the Soul Peacemaker. Sometimes you can actually just sometimes blind normal summon it or uh, pendulum summon it out and then target Soul Piercer and Grave. Uh, but for the most part that doesn't usually come up, it's usually off this guy, which I'm playing two of. Uh, it lets you play through Droll quite extensively for the most part. Um, I would recommend at least um, at least two. You could potentially get away with playing three. Um, and then I would probably, if you're playing three, I would consider cutting uh, one of these, which I'm playing three of, which is Wagon. So Wagon is good for, you know, when your hand is really bricky, but it requires it not to get Ghost Ogre. It requires it not to get... Um, Oh, what else is there? Like Ash Blossom, like it's it's incredibly susceptible to uh, disruption. So uh, it's usually one of the f I usually side out two of these if I'm going second. Um, then I've got Soul Piercer, which is obviously the most broken card in the entire deck by far. Uh, in the final game of the entire tournament, uh, I kind of opened a slight bit bricky, um, and I normal summon Soul Piercer. I know when so I was going first, I normal summon Soul Piercer, and equip two Soul Piercers to it. And then Link Summon for one, and then he had Droll, but I got three searches off of that before, which set me up for uh, making, um, I got to make Barone and then Baguska, because it was against Branded, so Baguska does a lot there. And then three Bike, just a generic searcher. Uh, I play Gamma, but like this never, never gets Drolled or never gets Ashed when you want it to, um, especially if you have Gamma, so it's just one of those things. Uh, two Benkei and three Prodigy. So the two bank K is obviously a requirement for the engine, but oftentimes if, if it's game two or something else like that, I would tend to sign this out unless I felt like they were going to have uh, removal for my scales. Um, but for the most part, this is like all right, perfect. This card is insane as well. Um, yeah, the engine is is quite it's quite big, but it's quite uh, searchable, and obviously with the other extender cards, uh, you can get a uh, really far with them. Um, so especially that is box, tunneler, Jizakiru, and Regulus. So how much? How many times did you draw your cannons? Uh, I didn't draw box box at all today. Yeah, I only searched it, and I cited out. I always cited out going going second because I don't need this this stuff. Uh, I only need this stuff, this one. This one I cited out once, and I shouldn't have, uh, so I don't cite it out anymore. Since uh, this XP knew, what does Box and Tunnelet do? So what you do is, with Ballista, which is in my extra deck, you make a Link 2, and actually I can show a combo actually, because it's pretty straightforward. Um, but you'll usually uh, go Box, add Tunneler, and then that gives you two special. That gives you two summons. As well, if you use Soul Piercer as well, and you search spot, uh, Stealthy, so you've got Stealthy plus B Ballista equals uh, Genius, and then you've got your two Pendulum summons for Genius um, by just off that. And then after that, you get to make uh, Appaloosa with the Tunneler, and then you get Tunneler effect to draw two. Um, so these are like the extra kind of additional cards, the machines and stuff. I'm not meaning Spellcancer. I don't think it's 
right too, but it, it's it's fine as it is, right? Uh, then we go to hand traps, so we're playing um, two Ghost Ogre, two Mourner, two Valor, three Ash for Branded Fusion, I guess, mostly, uh, three Droll, uh, three Gamma, uh, Driver, and then also a Pankratops as well. How'd you, how'd you find these fishes? Um, pretty good, I would say. Yeah, actually, Mourner came up a lot more than Vader did. Um, but they're they're kind of touch and go because ob this obviously is a hard once per turn and this isn't so they're quite good i would recommend um you could get away with playing more hand traps this one is obviously not a hand trap yeah, it's just a extra body a crazy cat, um and because the deck is kind of tight to get to 40 cards along with all the hand traps uh pankratops is kind of handier than playing uh fenrir for example and also lets you beat over um it just lets it's a free summon so lets you beat over stuff and also lets you get rid of uh, floodgates uh pretty safely as well and so then we got regulus and all that stuff that i talked Maybe about it's popping cards without falling to Phoenix slumber yeah, I don't like Runic Slumber is not really something I'm worried about. I don't think um, I don't think Runic has much to play with this deck. To be honest, um, they're not going to win. Like I, I'll be honest, they're not going to win um, unless they have to get you. Like uh, so then we've got extra deck, which is two Scarecrow, one Ballista, one Genius. I play Asa just because this could be uh, this could be a uh, Nat Beast um, or it could be like an Excess Code or something else like that. I played Asa just as an extra link to, and also I, I'll show my side deck in a second. It makes sense with this uh, to have this to be able to get rid of at least one. Do you think card. you'd prefer the Nappy Saturday? No, actually, I think Asa is quite handy for when, like, when you see my side deck, it'll make more sense. Uh, so then we go Apo and then uh, Saryuja. This is obviously for mainly for spellcaster, but also just to have a big link for. Yeah. Uh, then we've got the kind of the Zeus package. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Oh yeah, it's here. Sorry. Uh, Merrymaker, uh, Sargas, Zeus, and then we've got Girgigant and Baguska as our XEs. So obviously this, this, and th this, into this, into this is insane. And this, just the fact that he's 2800 is quite good. Um, I was able to make a rank 4, basically make a rank 4 and get to this guy without triggering any monster effects under with Kashira on the board is insane and it's really good for getting over Fenders and getting over on Unicorns as well. And then you just make a Zeus afterwards and pray. Uh, same with Baguska. Baguska came up a lot um, for when you're kind of unbreak when you need to unbreak your hand and you just need a bit more time. Uh, it's quite handy and also into uh, if a branded deck has kind of hand trapped the crap out of you, it's good to end up on this. Obviously, if it's not good enough when you just get rolled, you should always try and play for more for when it's when it's a troll. Um, but you need to play around roll as much as Speaking possible. Speaking of uh, hand trap heavy decks, did you see any Matt Mac today? Yeah, I played against uh, adding Mr. Matt Mac. Um, How's that? Um, it was fine, but to be honest, like it was, uh, I I won die roll. I got to go first. I set up a, t a ton of the gates, and they couldn't get through it. Um, and I side Bistials and stuff, so it was okay. Uh, then we've got Excel, which is obviously to get to Barone, and then we've borrowed Savage as well. So there's like two main flex spots in this extra deck, really, or three, I guess. Which is this card, uh, this card, and Asa, yeah. So these are the three flex spots. You could play different cards for these ones. The rest I feel are probably mandatory. Ballista you could cut, but honestly I would say Ballista's effect is actually really, really good because it lets you pop a monster and it lets you pop a soul piercer. Um, no, it pops your spells and traps. It doesn't pop, it pops monsters. It pops a one face up monster. Your opponent controls. <laughs> yeah, I'm 100% sure. Because it lets you pop a uh, Soul Piercer and then pop that monster. Um, it's quite cool. So, yeah, I mean, th those are the flex spots. So I, I find Ballista quite useful. Uh, if you play with it play with it in mind, it lets you get around... Um, like, it lets you use the big Kaiju, for example. Because you don't have to use your Baron pop on it. You can just use your Ballista pop instead. Um, and Ballista plus Soul Piercer is, like, insane as well. Uh, that's the extra deck. Uh, then we got um, the side, which is um, so. We'll start with the cards I actually never use, which is three Karikara. Didn't come up. Uh, I slid in against Kashira. Um, they didn't get that far, so it didn't work out well. Um, then we've got uh, one Magical Hound and two Eccentric. So Eccentric should hopefully be very straightforwardly understood. It's a, it's obviously a spell and trap pop. Uh, it's for five Rainbow Magician. It's for Tikaboo. I got Tikaboo twice. 
Um, Tikaru is a pain in the ass against this deck. Magical Hound is a bounce, and also it's a tuner, and it's a machine, so it lets you get to a Link 2. Um, it lets you get to something like Asa, or lets you get to uh, Genius, because it's a machine. Uh, you could potentially make Nat Beast with it as well, because it's a tuner level 1. So 1 plus 4 equals 5, which is Nat Beast. And then we've got 3 Bestials. Just 3 different names. Uh, obviously, Magnemote's handy because it searches a different one. Ser uh, Drew's Worm is handy because it sends from Grave. And then Bis our Baldrake is just another guy. Like, it could be anything. It's just whatever you, I found. Do you prefer the second Magnemote over Baldrake? No, I like to have multiple... Like, if I open three of them, I like to be able to use three of them. That's all. You know, if if I happen to, like, break on my side cards, at least this way, I, I actually get to play all of them, you know? So, I prefer that. Uh, we're on two Spell Cancer. Um, so, the whole reason I have for playing two spell cancer is obviously uh instead of having to go with the whole sorry usual play and do like crazy amounts of um summons if you just happen to open it it like you're more likely to open it if you play two and also if you're going um if you're going second what you can do as well is obviously if you're afraid of five rainbow magician you can side in that's five cards you can side in for example right obviously those shouldn't be the only ones you side in because you've got hand traps uh, so you need to consider whether it makes more sense to just sight in. Like I could probably cut one of these because I didn't. I didn't actually sight in two of these uh, ever, or at least when it came up. So I wasn't wasn't too worried about it. And then we've got two bell, which is extra um, math mechanics mostly actually, um, and it's just hand. It's just a nice hand trap. Uh, it hits Kashtir birth as well. And then we've got two retaliating C. So this is why I, I recommend for Asa to be played because this is an Earth insect. Um, so you can't make genius, you can't make, um, you can't make genius, you can't make, um, Infinitrack, or, uh, Ballista, yeah. So you can only really make, um, also with this. Um, and because if you, let's say, let's say you happen to floodgate them out of the game with this guy, if they go Brand of Fusion or if they go Pearly, Pretty, Pretty Memory or whatever it is, and this is still on the board, um, by the time you get to Jess, uh you don't want to just you don't want to banish your jet so you want to get rid of it somehow so normal summoning is pretty good and obviously when you use it for link summon it goes to grave so um that is the whole deck and then what i want to do is i'll show off some combo stuff with it um namely the main thing to be aware of is just how to play around roll really that's all um and so the main thing for playing around roll is um knowing when to use certain effects so obviously if we go prodigy uh so if we start with prodigy i mean prodigy lets you play around draw a bit but like what if you think about choke points uh let's say you've got just prodigy and a bunch of hand traps then it's prodigy effect special uh activate benkei um and then you have to think about whether you want to so if you, at this stage you want to go benkei effect um and add soul piercer or you want to add soul peacemaker so those are the two choices you kind of have at that stage um if it was at this point in time and i had zero if i had zero follow-up uh i actually might search soul gaia booster or i might go for bike um if i had bike in hand um so usually it's like one car combo is is whatever the two car combo is at this stage if you're afraid of droll you search for um oh you just search for like soul peacemaker or something and then uh try and bring that back or you can search for uh soul piercer but one thing i did today was um as i think i mentioned i went soul piercer uh for two older soul piercers um let me try and do a sample hand because i think it makes more sense to do it that way uh just to sort of showcase and demonstrate some of the stuff that happens with the deck uh so try and get like a reasonable hand, I guess. Um, Soul Piercer, Gamma, Wakaoshi, Wakaoshi, Droll, right? I mean, if we get to this far, then the first thing you obviously do is you go Wakaoshi, Wakaoshi Effect, Special, can't be Drolled. Uh, then we're going Big Benkei. Uh, we're going uh, Big Benkei Effect. Uh, adding Soul Peacemaker because I have a Soul Piercer in hand. Normal Soul Piercer. Uh, we would then see if, if they've drawled at this stage, then they've drawled at this stage, right? Um, if they haven't drawled, then you go for Link 1, um, which is Scarecrow. And then 
if they have drolled, and then at this stage you add, um, what do I add here at this stage? Probably Soul Guy a booster to keep going. Uh, oh no, you add mo you add the bike because you don't have the bike yet, right? So you add the bike, and then you can either discard the bike if you're drolled, or you can go Scarecrow effect. Uh, so let's assume we're drolled at this point in time. Although I don't know why you would. I think it's just a no. You wouldn't. You would not be drawn at this stage. Uh, so yeah, if you were drawn at this point, obviously you just go straight into um, uh, pretty Baguska pass. Um, there's nothing really to play with here. But at the, obviously Gamma's useless, so you can discard Gamma at any point in time. Actually, that gets you to Baron, so that's fine. So if we have Gamma, we go that, and then make the the uh, Excel. We've got scales now, those are engraved. Uh, Excel's engraved and Barone's on the field. Uh, obviously I'm doing it all upside down, so you have to bear with me here. And then we've got, for follow-up, we've got Soul Peacemaker, uh, pop this guy, this guy. Um, do scales, scales effect. Uh, special Soul Piercer. Um, and it, this, uh, actually, no, you wouldn't even do that. I think you would probably go for scales, target. I don't have bike. Okay, if I bike, you go for a different thing. Um, and at this point in time, you can decide whether it makes sense to go Baguska or go into um, a link monster or something else. I would probably just, to be honest, I'd just sit on them, the two of them, and the Brone, you know. And at least you've got bodies, and they've obviously have a droll in hand. So hopefully that, that will let me live. Um, but you should never really end on just Baguska unless you have a really bad hand. Um, because you're going to get out of it very, very quickly with that. Um, but most of the, like, the extended combos are kind of... You have to sort of get a feel for it. Um, the big important thing is to make sure that at some point during your combo... You before you want to make your pendulum summon, you go for um, genius. You want to go for ballista, um, which means you have to search stealthy at least at one point in time later in the in the combo. Um, and obviously, Big Ben K only searches um, the souls. So does the wagon. So wagon and and Big Ben K only search the souls. And then um, what's the other one? And obviously, motorbike searches basically everything, which is crazy. And it also lets you uh, make it level four as well, which is quite useful for making rank fours. Um, you can make Borlode Savage as well. Um, generally speaking, deck goes really well. It goes really, really hard. Um, the the stuff with Tunneler as well, you can get three Link Monsters in the grave. Uh, and then with the three Link Monsters, you shuffle, you put them back, and you're just two monsters, and you get to draw two. And there's times today, a lot, where uh, I knew I was playing against Branded and draw into Ash. And a lot of, I had other hand traps, and just Ash and other hand traps is insane, along with my full board. Um, and usually the full board looks something like... Uh, so full board would generally be uh, Barone. Um, uh, where's the guy? The Appaloosa here, and then um, where's Regulus? Regulus, and if it happened to work out, also Barlow's. So that's full board, um, along with three or four cards in hand, which is potentially hand traps as well so um yeah it is usually that's that's usually the full board um then obviously if you want to go for if you're trying to play around game two for example with dark ruler um then you want to go for this guy instead and you want to make a four material uh so you probably end up with this guy this guy and spell cancer so that that and spell cancer as well and you just have to pray at that stage because if they have the dark ruler they have it if they have kaijus they have them too sphere mode is pretty fatal against this deck i will be honest uh sphere mode is i don't think they can play around it and it's incredibly frustrating so stuff like labyrinth or any of those decks that play those really really impactful um things are insane uh, lava golem is quite good as well but uh since it sacrifices your your normal summon unless it's literally um uh, a deck that can survive without it, then it you don't need to worry about it. Anyways, that's basically the profile. That's about it. 
Um, yeah, like, rate, comment, subscribe.